Vogue. Hi everyone, welcome to Lifestyle Freak TV. I wanted to do a video today on this quad from Chanel. It's their new fall colors and it had they're all shimmery and it has two green shadows, one brown and one pearl color. They're all really pretty and very pigmented and I thought if I mix them with some matte colors I could achieve a really nice look for the fall. If you want to see how I'm going to achieve this look, please keep watching. Okay, so let's begin. I have done my foundation concealer, I've done my eyebrows, I've done my contouring, my blush, so all that's left to do is the eyes. So I will start with this Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC in Camel Coat. And it's a more mauvey shade. And I'm just gonna put this on just my lid. And then I'm going to take a flat brush and take Orb from MAC and just put that all over my lid. And up under my brow. And just a bit more on the lid. Okay, and now we're going to take a fluffier brush, like this one. And I'm going to take Cork from MAC. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. So I'm going to pop that into my crease and in Winchy Wipe Promotions, just back and forth. With your transition shade, you can be a bit more free about placing it around everywhere. Just because it's the lightest of the shade and it'll help you start your base for your color buildup. Now that we've got that done, I'm going to start with the Chanel quad. I'm going in with this darker green and I'm going to pick up the same brush and just slightly dip it in and I'm going to place this just in the outer corner over here and I'm going to bring it down. and just back and forth. Because this is a shimmery shade, I don't want to bring it up too much, but I just want to get the color layering started. Okay, once we have that done, I'm just going to go into some espresso from MAC and I'm going to take this brush And I'm just going to put this in my crease and just circular motions back and forth. I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend everything out a little bit. And then I'm going to go in with this lighter green shade and a flat brush. And I'm going to add this from the center of my eye to the outer corner. And then we're going to go back with this brush and take the darker green and pop this in the crease and bring it down and just work it in. We'll blend it in a second and do the same thing on this side from the middle and down onto your lid. And 
And then I'm going to take this little round fluffy brush and just blend the color. And now I'm going to take that flat brush again and go into that light green shade and just layer a little more. And then I'm going to take another flat brush and I'm going to go into this pearly color and just add a little bit of that in my inner corner and then I'm going to bring it in to meet the lighter green color. And we go back in with this flat brush again and take the lighter green color and slowly start bringing the lighter green shade in closer. But don't bring it all the way to the end. Just lightly, very light handedly bring it in closer light handedly is that even a word? huh interesting and then darken it up as you get towards the end of your eye, the outer corner and then go back in with the pearly shade and now just pat it on here and then bring it down a little bit into here and now we're going to take that same flat brush and I'm going to go into the darker green and I am just going to put the darker green pat it on to the end here about the fall up we're gonna whip it up so just pat pat don't drag the color just pat it on and then go in with the other side where you use the lighter color and pat on the color so that way there's a bit of a transition and they're not just side by side and there you go these colors are so pretty okay and now I'm going to take this fluffy brush and just blend everything in the crease a little bit so <clears throat> there's no harsh lines so for the under eye I'm going in with I'm going to take a flat br flat brush like this. I'm going to go in with cork and I'm going to just put it under my lash line And then using the same brush, I'm going to take the dark green color and lightly dab it on the bottom of the lash line on top of where you applied cork. And for lashes, instead of using fake lashes, I decided to use this Too Faced Better Than False Lashes Extreme. I love these, so it's a, um, don't mind the mascara clump there. So it's a two-step process, so I use the mascara first, and I love using more than one mascara. Um, 
and then I take the fibers and I just brush it through my lashes and then I follow it up with another coat of the mascara and they look a lot fuller and longer and you can repeat the process as many times as you want so now for the bottom lashes I'm just going to use the Opulash mascara and just put some always that bottom lash mascara it tears me up oh and this one is scandalized from Rimmel and now I'm just gonna go in with a brush and just wipe any fall off away so here's the final look. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Put any comments or questions you may have down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.